from Spirit Stones Creative Crafts. I've got an update for you today. Um, some shrink plastic, things that I've been working on and also some polymer clay. So I just want to get on and show you some of the things we've been making. There's some pendants that I've been using with uh, Prisma pencils. And I do love Prisma pencils. I think they're pretty amazing. They work really, really well. They blend beautifully as well. So here's the hearts. And these are earrings, or well, they will be matching pair. And then more circles. I just have a thing about circles and the straight lines. I really enjoyed doing that one actually. So I really like these. I really like the funky colours. That's a pair of earrings. It's actually the second time I did them because the first time I managed to overcook them really like that one and this one here with the little birds and it says level find a way but these are rubber stamps and not mine so that leads me to saying that I really want a stamp maker so I can make my own rubber stamps and then the artwork will be mine it's okay when it's drawn like this that's fine because that is mine but sometimes you just want to be a bit quicker or make more than one so, you know, I mean, I've managed to kind of copy these okay and do two of each, but obviously it's easier if you kind of make the stamp. So I really like that one that's got resin on it as well. So more circles because I like them and the flowers that I so love to do. So I've um, been using lots of different shrink plastic. Um, here's the clear one, which I really like. And here's the white one which was easy to draw a picture on with the bird there and here's a little dolphin that I did for my friend's little boy for his birthday that was last week I haven't seen him yet so I've got to give him that one that one doesn't have resin on it um, and so then the last few pieces here um, that was with a silver pen silver gel pen that came out pretty well I really like that kind of stuff. The silver, you know, the gel pens, I think they're great as well. And this is the clear. That was with, um, I can't remember what that was with actually. Uh, a red pen of some kind, obviously. Um, and what else we got here? I've got some tiny little things because shrink plastic, if you're used to it, know that it can go really, really tiny. Um, a little seahorse there. So yes, my new addiction happens to be shrink plastic. So here's my favourite things. Well, the heart's one of my favourite things actually. But here's a skull and crossbone. And I really like this bird. So it's kind of cool. And I really like this one too. And this is what I'm saying about the stamp making machine. Because the main focus on this here are these cats. And the butterflies and that's not my artwork that is a rubber stamp now i could draw that fine but if i want to be quicker then there we go and so i had a bit of resin left over doing that lot so i made a added some color made myself a button and a feather so that was kind of cool so i've also got into polymer clay this uh, last week and I've had some fun making some things. So there was a request for a sugar skull from a guy that's doing a tattoo for my husband for his birthday, which is this coming weekend. And he's called Dan and he does really amazing work. His, his work's really beautiful. And so I've been making some of these out of FIMO and my daughter requested a purple one. So that's a bit more cartoony for her. And then we made a kind of nice powder blue and did that one. And then there's these two, which I think are so cute. They're really kind of cute. And I like them. So there's those two. And then I made these. 
and this one here is for Leo you've heard me mention his name before and he saw it and loved it and so that's going to be his fridge magnet and that's for a friend whose name I'm not going to mention because she's probably going to see this before I send it to her so there you go that's what I've been doing um, please comment below let me know what you've been up to um, share ideas and all the rest I think it's awesome and I just want to thank everyone who's kind of helped me because I couldn't have done the shrink plastic and the polymer clay without your tutorials I just amazed at all the work that you do and I hope that I get to be that good at polymer clay as well so thank you so much everybody um link subscribe below and uh, check out these photographs now of my friend Rosie who is an amazing photographer and these are some photographs that she took of my work and also um, I'm going to give you the link to her stuff she tells amazing stories with her photography and I just don't get how she does it so um that's a shout out to Dan and Rosie so click on the links and see you next time. Bye!